I'm Jake Tucker, the games editor for Trusted Reviews, and here's everything we know having had hands-on with Rainbow Six Grim Sky. One of the big changes with this new expansion is that the Hereford map is actually coming back in. Now, Hereford was one of the launch maps for the game, but it had long taken a bit of flack for being quite one-dimensional. It used to all revolve around one single staircase, and that staircase would run from the bottom of the map to the top, and all of the fights would be around this staircase and the areas around and in front of it. This new map actually has two staircases now, so there's staircases located in two different corners of the building, which gives you a lot of different options for getting up and down, and there's actually just a lot more open space. Now the third floor, which back in the original version of the map was actually just two, two death corridors linked together, is now a big wide open space, and that wide open space has a lot of different items in there to break down the site, to provide cover, and just to provide honestly more entertaining firefights. With this new map it actually seems that there are a lot more options. There are two new operators. One of the operators is Maverick. Maverick is an attacker and he has two new armor lights. Now basically he has an M4 which you can use for um, prey and spray. You can move around inside with a red dot and just kind of hose people down. The other one is a 50 caliber and that hits really, really hard. I've noticed that once you hit someone once or twice with that, they would go down. And that makes it really good for trying to wallbang people and open up lines of sight. Opening up lines of sight is kind of Maverick's thing. His gadget is a welding tool. It's kind of been rumored for a really long time that Maverick's welding tool would allow you to cut your own shapes into reinforced walls so that you can actually get entry but what has really happened with this is it's actually just it opens sight lines and nothing else you can carve kind of in a line and you can do that in a reinforced wall you can do it to normal walls or you can do it to castle barricades or doors and it's basically silent while I don't think we'll see Maverick played constantly I do think there's going to be maps like customs where he comes in invaluable just for getting extra eyes on the objective the defending operator clash actually has a shield and this is a massive paradigm shift because no defender has had a shield in Rainbow Six before. She works slightly differently to the other shield operators as well. Now when she has her shield out it is a gadget. You actually can't fire a weapon there's kind of no hip fire pistols which is something the other shield operators has but she does have a taser instead and the taser mounted to the top of the shield now that locks automatically to anyone in front of you and it will slow down any enemies that are caught in the path. Every Rainbow Six expansion, it offers kind of a lot of unique changes and it's very hard to say exactly what's going to have the biggest impact on the meta. I do think that defenders be a little bit more aggressive on the reaction is, is really important and it's something that we're going to see a lot at low level play, although potentially we're never going to see Clash at Pro League. I don't see a world where Clash comes out in the Pro League and people don't just rinse her immediately. It feels like with Maverick here to open sight lines and with Clash here to punish attackers who maybe push a little bit too far, we're actually seeing a lot more a lot more opportunity to be reactionary and a lot more opportunity to punish people and create your own openings, which is something that I really think that Rainbow Six Siege needs at the moment. It's going to be exciting to see how the meta takes this. Stay tuned to Trusted Reviews for all the latest on Rainbow Six Siege and the Rainbow Six Siege major taking place in Paris right now. I've been Jake Tucker. Thanks for watching.